Eureka! Eureka! Eureka. I'm doing this straight away. <clears throat> so, um, back to the sort of old styly. Gonna be a long chat. Um, I may have a sty in my eye. I may look like crap. But that really doesn't matter. It's thoroughly irrelevant. <laughs> well, not completely. But, people, <laughs> brothers and sisters, <laughs> Eureka. For me, my journey, the last uh, six years of making videos, put them in playlists, numbered one, two, three, four, seven. Seven is conclusion. Uh, this has been a big conclusion. Um, going back 2014, September of 2014, when I was first feeling God, And I just now had an equal strength of that connection. And in the last three years, I have learnt a lot. And what I have just now understood is what I felt is... Source is probably the best word because God, what we call God, is our mother and father, our creator. And what God calls God is God's mother and father and creator. And God has brothers and sisters, well, once you're in soul unity, just call it kin, right? So we have one God. It's our mother and father. They are one. We are in God. God is in us. But it is a person, an entity. And there is a name we can call on, and that's Jesus. Said that way. We'll get the attention of your mother and father. But your mother and father were once like us. Now, we're not that new. We've been prepared and primed. We've had many, many lives as animals and plants and things. All, all time on this earth. And we have other brothers and sisters in this universe. This universe being the physical manifestation of God. So you've just got to remember this physical reality is just, it's just one, one layer of, of reality. And the dominant layer of reality is where our souls are. Now if you think, your soul is all feeling, so the dominant layer of reality is a feeling reality. And when you feel other people, it's good, right? It's nice. It's practically what's the only thing that makes life worth living. And we're doing it online. You know, commenting and doing live videos and people doing content, interacting. It does work. I mean, obviously, because we like it. And 
there's a, there's a feeling. Sometimes it's negative, you know, but that's just the way it is. Like, I remember when I used to go to school, what often got me up in the morning was sometimes thinking about some girl, but, and there were some things that would put you off because the feeling between a person at school, maybe they didn't like you or they wanted to beat you up. So that could put you off, but then you had your friends and that would draw you, draw you in. Um, so, yes, so the dominant layer of reality is a feeling reality. And our mother and father God is an all-feeling being, but has a physical manifestation. And that physical manifestation is the physical universe we can see. And we can see it with telescopes, and we can see there's a hundred billion galaxies, all like this, spiral galaxies. There are little mini galaxies, but they're within, we've got a little mini galaxy within our own galaxy. That's the Pleiades. It's a, a, a bunch of stars within our galaxy. It's not anything like the scale of the Milky Way. And all the galaxies are roughly the same size. And they all have black holes. And these black holes were made six billion years ago. And we're seeing the gamma ray bursts now. Or about six billion years. So our physical manifestations, our souls. So at the moment we're, we're borrowing this body from God. We're borrowing, God has given us this planet only, right? Just this planet to live and learn. And we've been on this planet as animals, as I've said. Now we're in beings which are aware. But it's taken time for, for us to, to learn. And there had to be a falling away so that there could be a coming up. You know, that's how you learn. You, you make the mistake and rather get it out of the way, right? So we're now coming to the stage where we're learning that love is the answer. We're becoming aware of what we are, and we will get to explore the whole universe fully, you know. Not, but probably not in spaceships. I don't know, but probably not. Through other, some other means. You can travel in your mind. Um, but so, so the, but the dominant thing is the feeling. It's all about the feeling, and then the physical manifestation is just a, a picture of the feeling. So we're in God. In each one of these black holes there's another universe and that's you or me and or somebody else. We've each got one. That's what we are. With our soulmate to make that universe. So we have an eternal companion <laughs> and that feels quite good. So Back to the Eureka, so that, that is it, once I, so I can, so when I was first doing it, the feelings were very strong, I was connecting with Source, thinking that was our mother and father God. Unavailable at the period, but I've since... In the meantime, as I've sort of sensed feelings and made sense of things and, you know, just, you know, a lot's happened in three years. So I started to feel how I could connect with um, our creator, the, 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 the soul that we're in. We are in a soul. But all this, since realising that, the soul we're in is in another soul. And the soul we're in has other brothers and sisters. I mean, it's massive. And feeling source again now for the first time in quite a long time that I have felt source like that. That's what I, at the beginning, that's what I I did f get into contact because yeah, it's uh, it's big and oh, yeah, 
just boom just the <laughs> if you you know if you ever want some love <laughs> right think how much love our mother and father Jesus has and then just it's just it's just massive it's just massive So I'm very glad that today I decided to cancel a call, um, mainly because the snow is not properly melted yet, but I don't want to wreck my car. <laughs> but they, they were fine to have it tomorrow, they were in no rush. And, um, and I'm very glad that I decided to sit down and... and and do nothing. See, uh, it's weird, like, because lately God's been trying to sort of point me towards, because I've talked about Source and God before, I mean, I've talked about this before, and I said about there are maybe seven generations, and then you hit Source, and like, and I was just like, and after that I just don't know what goes on. Um, and God's been sort of pointing me towards that, and I've been thinking, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't really want to know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been, there's sort of been a few, few times I've just gone, no, I don't need to know that, you know, I've got a hundred billion years, that'll do. <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure after a hundred billion years, I probably won't mind just sort of, ceasing to exist or just going into some sort of ocean of <laughs> right but today I can really see how it just you know because it boggles the mind to think what you might do in 100 billion years or more or stuff you know but so Oh, just, yeah, it's, um, and, and then this analogy about the tree of life being this whole thing, this whole picture, measuring the roots and the branches as well, you know, we're just the latest twig on the tree of life but it's just just never ending it's awesome And, you know, and I've been, there's a job I'm applying for coming up in January. <clears throat> and I do want it, but I suppose I thought, you know, I want to get something done before. But then, you know, just, and then I'm just feeling that and it's like, well, it doesn't matter. Why don't worry about it? It's just like. It's still a whole month away, you don't have to worry about it. Well, or just anything, I mean, just, you know, when, when you get, when you f have feelings like that, when you experience something like that, you know, that it's just so sort of nice because, you yeah, you just don't, Everything else is just sort of so minuscule and it doesn't matter. So
Uh, it's really weird because I had my eyes closed, but I swear that like the sun came out, and it really then felt when I was connecting to source. It really and obviously connect. Well, so yeah, connecting to that to the whole big picture of it, I suppose. And I had the awareness that God and, you know, maybe 70 of his brothers and sisters, some sort of village. You know, because God isn't, you know, God's going to be close with many, you know, maybe many more. I don't know, like, put a number on it. So they're all going to, you know, God isn't all feeling things. God is going to be keep continuing to feel with his brothers and sisters and, so I keep saying his, his, uh, and his her mother and father, right? And maybe even by now, have got, you know, connections with his, her uncles and aunties, right? As we may begin to do. And, but, and and the fact that we're all in this tree of life, you know, we're all we're all a part of it, and it's all loving. You know, once you get beyond the stage that we've been going through the last six thousand years, you know, the last six thousand years, the equivalence is a bit like the um, bird taking its first flight. You know, the bird drops quite far for a while. <laughs> and then starts to flap and, you know, perhaps gets to the point where it's not falling so fast anymore. And then flap a bit harder and then and starts getting higher and higher. And You know, and I, I just had a little thought about all the the scientists and the doctors and you know this thing about people love like getting praise, don't they? You know, from other people like so you know, if I get a thumbs up from a video, it's nice, right? So and the thing is, you've got all, in academia, all these people are all standing around in a circle, patting each other on the backs, sort of thing. You're doing a good, you're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. You know, and that's the only thing which is sustaining um, the, this sort of error, basically, is, you know... The, I mean, it's good to understand the physical universe, but when you think, when you take it as this is all there is, this is what it is, you know, then you make wrong conclusions, which is what scientists do. I can't think of an example at the moment, but there, this happens all the time. You know, let's take some of the rare diseases, like rare diseases, Huntington's disease, or something. And that's not even that rare. But you know, and that you know, and they'll measure it, and they'll do this, and they'll say, well, because of this physical thing happened here, then it must, you know, this this is the problem, or is it? I know that. You know, there could be issues in the genes or whatever, but that's the point I'm trying to make. Just to, to say we have to, you know, to understand everything on a physical level, 
and but I think what happens is they get into the realms of of where you know physical reality just doesn't follow the rules anymore quantum mechanics right quantum physics so you know whereby you know the the doctor doing something has an effect i mean they know healing right they know healing is power of belief you know the, the power the doctor has if say someone take these and you'll be better right that straight away the healing they know these indian healers you know the american indians they would have some feathers in their mouth bite the tongue to get some blood and then <coughs> cough it up and say oh look what i got out of your chest sort of thing throw that in the bin now you'll be better and it worked and they knew it worked, and if anyone wanted to learn, they would teach them, but they would promise that they would have to, you know, do healing and do it if they, you know, before they would teach them. So, and, you know, medical science, you know, they, they do know this, that they do know about the placebo. They know the effect of it. But you know when you when you give people chemical drugs and stuff and you know like for epilepsy and stuff and it just it shuts down parts of the brain so you know they're never really curing anything and they do often say this isn't a cure you know they never really cure anything and when they do just some new disease pops up it's on a more complicated level anyway so I, you know, I think the only reason that it gets sustained is because everyone's patting each other on the back, saying "good job, carry on," you know, and they give give each other awards and stuff like that, and it just that that's what keeps it going. And it won't, you know, it won't keep going forever. That's certain. Um, maybe I could edit. <laughs> no, I don't want to edit. Maybe I should. But... I should have probably thought about what I was going to say first, but that that was mainly it, you know, the beginning bit. It was just so awesome. I had to... It just... It just yeah, because for me, suddenly, the realisation of... You know... God, you know... It's not like I'm going to offend God by wanting to connect to Source. Yeah, and it was just so weird how, like, I'd been just saying, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> and so I wasn't getting anything. And now it sort of came up again and I thought, oh yeah, I've been knocking it back a few times. And then thinking, right, maybe this is what God wants me to think about. Because it is what you think about. You know, it's... How he feels, like you can never see, you can never really, like, force anything. Like, and you can't try and force it. I mean, the, 
the more now I'm seeing when I want to feel God is just let go because God is there. Just let go. God is all around. Jesus, our mother and father. But um, and this partly came about because you know God God is in me as well because I'm created by God. So it's it's never it's that's never gonna go away. Never ever 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 ever. It's always going to be there. And if you have any wrong ideas about God, thinking that God isn't purely loving, you know, that would be uncomfortable. And it's because of the enormity of it, because of the permanence of it, it it's it's a big thing to to really to really feel so when you really feel something that is when you know but feeling is an operation of the heart now sorry i mean like there's so many scales of things what i now call feeling I should say feeling with my heart, but I couldn't. So, okay, so three years ago I did, because I went without cannabis for two weeks and then I had cannabis, I was able to get myself into a very high state of love. So I was feeling with my heart then. But, say it happened three or four times. Then I couldn't quite get it again and... There was things to learn, so, you know, it's, it took time for me to, to, to understand there's a place in my heart where I can go and do things. It's like doing things, you know, it has the effect of doing things, it's like, the feeling you you have afterwards is, oh, I've done something. It's more than speaking words, and it's, you know, it is, <laughs> yeah, it is doing stuff. Because we like doing things. Doing things is like a, you know, permanence. Something's been done. When something's said, it's more like just a, an intention or a, it's not quite a, it's a, things that are said are poems. Anyway, I'm getting a bit too deep with this. Um, so, you know, that journey to, to get into my heart. I guess what it was, I had an experience of source and being part of the, the the big, big, big tree of life, the big, 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 everything that existence, millions, billions of universes, couldn't even say how many. But remember there, just the picture.
These are the beds. I did think um, when I was connecting and saw him, felt I don't know if the sun did come up. The sun did seem, but behind my eyes anyway, it was it was quite light. I did wonder about perhaps trying to do that on film. Let's see. The omelet is a cloudy day. So it looks a bit bright up there, but oh, why don't I put it that way? Mm -hmm. Will it work? I um, just want to say for the record um, my intention here is to provide maybe a little miracle to help people believe. If it's the will of a mother and father who is in line with all source.
Unity required. Trying to force it, can't force it. I see what. camera on me. Oops, what was that? Wasn't happy about something. I look terrible, didn't I? Right. Because if the, if the sun does shine, it will see it. It will show, won't it? I think it's annoying, isn't it, with my heads? <laughs> I'm not trying to make the sun come out, I'm just going to try and feel source again, the love, and if it be the will. Could take some time, so I need God, Mother and Father, Jesus, Jesus. through my mother and father that I could feel source. that all people be you know entities God's mum and dad God's mum and dad's mum and dad and all the way
just on and on. God, is it not your will to, to show people? Well, they wouldn't believe anyway. Guess they have to find it for themselves. I am part of the tree of life, so are you.
Yeah, God is a bit of a comedian. God, may your will be done. Jesus, your will be done. I am your pupil. Remember the time we spent as penguins. Patient. Yeah, I can see light, feels light, feels warm. I don't know if anything's happening outside. It must be.
it's just inside. It's all bright. I mean, it could be brighter, but... It's a bit brighter. It's a little miracle. <laughs> you won't believe that. I know you won't believe that. I wasn't feeling feeling it as full on as before and not quite as pure. But I'm certainly feeling something in my heart. Love. I haven't quite opened up to it. And at the same time, pain in my feet. That's coming on now. I've got plenty of love in my heart. Obviously the camera is a distraction. Sort of taking away part of it. Maybe it's this sort of quantum physics thing that anyone viewing this in the future is having some effect, so can use of open your hearts, be sensitive, really, really sensitive to your heart. And block that knot of hopelessness as well. Nothing is hopeless. Not with God. And especially not with the source of all beings. Life, love. Choose to love. There we go. That's it.
Believe. Believe. You will. Because of this, because of what you are. infinite being a new branch on the tree of life six billion years in becoming aware Choose to love, choose to love,
Well, I'm not sure it'd be wise to upload this. It's even recording. It is. Oh my eye. Terrible. It is actually much brighter than on the video camera. See that the thing about it probably. Ah, oh, no, you see the sun coming out. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm finished. I don't know. Maybe it was coming out. But yeah, it was a distraction having the video. But what happened there was, <laughs> in a sense, <coughs> the, the pain thing. I mean, yeah, I didn't crack it then, and maybe, maybe the pain is just saying, <laughs> stop doing this. No, nothing more to see here now for now. I know. Sometimes I think of it as my pain. Sometimes I think of it as others, and because sometimes the pain does come up through the heart, and it moves, it changes, it goes, and, and sometimes it's very reluctant. But, what I felt before I made this film it was, it was awesome and that will stay with me, stay with me forever because being part of that tree of life sort of at one with all. That was something that I couldn't make happen. Well, you know, I couldn't, didn't know it was going to happen today. Like I said, I've been avoiding it. Been no harder. <laughs> Silly. So part of the master plan. Maybe this is how I damaged my ankle before. Carrying on through the pain when there's no point. Oh, because I stopped. I mean, I have gone further before, and yeah, my whole body was like doing weird stuff, like, like all the felt like all the cells were spinning around or something. But I was still aware of the searing heat. 
where I'm feeling it in my feet and it's big yeah I am feeling it where you know I'm feeling the right ankle here where it's being squashed and the toe the left toe here but, but when it first happened it was coming in the soles of my feet it's a bizarre thing
tenet. Tree of life. It's like comes into your heart, like your heart torus shape, right? Tree of life coming from there into your heart. Because like, you are part of the tree of life. So mother and father God is there. Their mother and father there. Sort of. So all their brothers and sisters and all our brothers and sisters. You know, we're all in it. <laughs> but you. You have a direct path to source. That's through your mother and father, through their mother and father, through their mother. That is your direct path to source. Maybe when I'm not feeling this, maybe that's when I get the pain in the feet. We'll see. Bow the head. <coughs> <coughs> Bow the head in humility to your heart.
Every step is a puzzle. And it always happens gradually. Just as Jesus, our mother and father, we must go through them towards source. They are directly <coughs> between us and towards source. So is God's mother and father likewise. And when I'm not feeling in my heart, pain may well go to the, my feet. And that's possible. And so even though I might feel Jesus, mother and father, To go towards source, I would need to get through another person, and they. To, so it's going to be different every time, and you know. As long as I'm feeling in my heart, I'm doing the right thing. So now I can be guided. Pain in the feet, you're not quite getting something with the heart. And like I say, every step will be a puzzle and it'll be gradual.
and I know the direction. I think um, I'm going to have a break. I'm not going to rush it. I don't rush. There's no urgency. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do few things, but. Do them well. Simple joys are holy. Day by day, stone by stone, build your secrets slowly. Okay, bye.